Hi everyone, Jessica here from Baby Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create a super quick and easy card. Um, the dog that lives next door to us unfortunately isn't very well at the moment and I thought it would be kind of cute to make a card uh, from Myrtle to that dog, just sort of saying get well soon. Um, so I wanted to use, these are the Hunky Dory uh, pocket sized puns um, and it's got this really cute dog image here and this is probably one of the only dog stamps that I have and I thought that would just make a really cute card but then I thought well rather than showing you what really essentially is going to be a very quick card um, is I thought I would just show you the whole uh, collection of these pocket size pens and actually just create some really easy cards from all of these stamps um, that I can then keep in my stash and I can just pull out if I need them. So there's two sets here, so there's 16 stamps in total but there's two sets of eight. So this is the first one. So these are kind of animal themed. So you've got your elephant here and this will then say thanks a ton. So again, you can see these are going to be uh, pun intended cards. Then for our puppy, we've got you are uh, positively wonderful. Then we've got the dinosaur, we've got your dino mite. We've got our turtle and that can say you're totally awesome. Then we've got our cow and you've got muchas gracias. Then we've got our owl here, and this says, owl you need is love. Then, so this is a really great one if you do have a cat, uh, or someone who has a poorly cat, so hope your fiend line better soon. So again, because they are puns, obviously that wouldn't work with the dog, so I have just got a separate stamp from my stash that just says get well soon, which we're gonna use, but that's a really great one there. And then we have our hedgehog, and this is send in hedge hugs. And here then we have our second set of stamps. So these are um, more everyday kind of objects. So we've got an ice cream and this will say you're the sweetest. We've got just a piece of cheese and this is just another cheesy birthday card. We've got a really cute gnome. So this is a gnome place like home. Then we've got our donut and it says donut what I'd do without you. We've got a light bulb, so you can add a smiley face into your light bulb, and it says, you light up my life. Then we've got a pair of glasses, and then you've got some eyelashes and uh, some eyes in there. So it says, I only have eyes for you. You've got a cup of tea, again with that smiley face. We've got a little extra uh, stamp there as well for the little flower, and it says, send in you positivity. And then this one I think is really cool. So you've got a ruler and a pencil here and it says it totally rules to be with you. So to be being the pencil. So again, some really fun puns in there. You can make some really great cards. And like I said, you can just have these cards ready to go in your stash. You could even just stamp and maybe color the image itself and then leave the sentiment. Uh, and then you can pop a sentiment on afterwards. So I've got my stamps off to the side and I'm gonna have sort of like a production line going on. And what I've already done ahead of time is cut down all of my cardstock. So the reason that I've done this is because I didn't have um, any of the size card blanks that I wanted to use. Um, I thought I did, but I, I actually don't. So I ended up cutting down um, some eight by eight inch card blanks um, and I wanted to have them as four by four inch square cards. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, and a real pet hate of mine is that the blank card bases, even though they say they're eight by eight, they're actually not that size. They're slightly smaller than that. I believe it's the envelope that's gonna be eight by eight inch. So I've also created some mat and layers here as well. So obviously I've got my card base, that's uh, four by four inch. Then I've got my black mat. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch. And then I've got a piece of white cardstock I'm gonna be stamping onto. And this is three and a half by three and a half. So that is just gonna be a really simple card. You could substitute out the black cardstock um, with a different color or just not have one at all. And you could just have white on white, which would look nice as well. Um, but I thought just adding that little black outline is just gonna add something extra to these super simple cards. So we've got eight of those. And then, like I said, because the cards weren't actually 8x8 eight eight to begin with, um, these cards are 4 inch uh, across by 3 and 3 quarter inch uh, down. So these are not quite... Uh, square but I don't think you'll notice too much and again these aren't all going to be going to the same person and um, they'll all be going to different recipients so it really doesn't matter to be honest 
Then I've got my black matte layer. So this is then three and three quarters by three and a half. And again, then I've got my stamping card. This is a three and a half by three and a quarter. So what you could do with these is because they are kind of a collection altogether, you could create um, bundles of cards if you wanted to sell them or give them away um, as a full bundle. That's maybe where you do want to have them all the same size. Um, but if not, and you're sending them to different people, it really doesn't matter whether they're all the same. So like I said, I'm going to be working in kind of a production line today. So you can see that I've already cut and trimmed uh, all of my cards, bases and my card uh, stock. And the reason I'm keeping this separate, obviously, is because I want to make sure that I get the right sizes with the right cards. So I'm just going to pop those to one side. I'm not going to be using my stamping platform today. I'm going to be using some acrylic blocks. I've got my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because we will be doing some colouring. Again, super basic, nothing too um, detailed or in-depth with these. But I figured it would be easier to use the acrylic blocks rather than constantly trying to line up in my stamping platform. So now we've got all of our bits and pieces together, we can actually get started creating our cards. So I've got two acrylic blocks here. So we're going to start with our cow. So I'm going to use two acrylic blocks because I need to make sure that I'm going to have space uh, for both my sentiment and my cow. And I think for the actual sentiment itself, I'm going to use my Versafine Onyx Black and then I use my, my Memento uh, for the image that I'm going to be colouring in. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing anything with our sentiment. And this is just going to... I find it inks up um, a lot better. It might be because my Memento needs to be maybe refilled. Um but I do find that this Versafine just gives a really great impression. So I've just lined up my cardstock with the grid lines on my mat. I'm going to bring this sort of roughly to the bottom just to make sure that I have enough space to stamp my uh, cow image. So let's then ink up my cow. And we're just going to place him just directly above our sentiment. So like I said, a really clean and simple card. We're going to add some colour in to this once we've gotten everything done. Um, but I think these are just going to create some really easy cards. Okay, so for my next one I have uh, picked up our turtle. So with our turtle we've got three separate sentiments that's going to make up our pun. So I want to make sure again um, that I get my spacing right. So to make sure that I get my sentiment right I've popped all three of these stamps onto separate uh, acrylic blocks and then I'm just going to start off with the uh, turtley word because this is going to be in the middle. So I'm going to stamp this one first again sort of near the bottom so we can do your if you're not confident doing this kind of freehand you could draw a line um, to make sure that it's lined up um, but these are handmade cards so it doesn't quite matter if it's not straight so that is sort of more um, towards the right hand side of our card but then it looks like maybe it's just sort of lined up that way so I'm not too upset um, if this isn't going to come out straight again because these are handmade cards so let's pop our turtle just there in the middle and there we have our second card. So the next image I'm going to be stamping is our owl. So this is the same again. Our sentiment comes in three separate stamps. Um, so we have got owl you need is love. So again, I'm going to stamp our middle stamp first. I'm just going to kind of show you a couple of these in real time. So you can kind of see because... Each of them, the design is sort of slightly different. Um, so I want to show you how I'm going to be creating them. And then I'll kind of just speed it up and play some music for you. So all you need is stamped. Then we've got... Our you need is... And then lastly... 
love and it's really nice then you've got those different uh, fonts in there as well um, it really kind of shows off that pun nicely then we've got our owl so again we're just going to stamp that one right in the middle of our card and that is then that one done so again just looking back at these three so each of these are going to be slightly different as I said you can have slightly different designs but they're all following the same um kind of pattern really so again I just wanted to show you those ones kind of in real time but what I'll do now is speed up through the rest um, and I'll just pop some music on as well Okay, so for my last card, obviously this is the card that I said I definitely wanted to actually create today. So I'm not going to actually use the puns that's on the card, um, uh, sorry, on the stamp set. I'm going to just pick out a get well soon. So we're going to stamp our little pup with its bone. And then I've just got this get well soon here. So we can pop that underneath. Just like that. So here is all of our stamping finish. So some of these, as you may have seen, sort of came out better than others. So there was ones kind of like this where maybe I should have thought about the placement of the sentiments beforehand because um, I just didn't quite have enough space there to fit that all on one line. I could have just moved that over. But again, these are really quick and simple cards. Um, they don't always have to be... You know, handmade cards aren't always going to be absolutely perfect. Um, and that's just kind of part and parcel of it. So now we've got all of our images stamped. I'm going to do some really quick colouring with my alcohol markers. So as I said before, nothing really too in-depth at all. And I'm going to use my tri-blend markers for these just so I can, you know, get that really quick colouring in.
Okay, so we have all of our images. I've divided them back out into the sizes. So let's quickly just run through them so you can see. So we've got our just another cheesy birthday card there. You're totally awesome. You're dynamite. Hope you're feeling better soon. All you need is love. Muchas gracias. Send in hedge hugs. Thanks a ton. So you can see just how well these work and they look so much better now that they're coloured in. So this one um, is the one that I actually intended to make today. So this is just a get well soon. We've got sending you positivity. Known place like home. Donuts know what I'd do without you. You light up my life. It totally rules to be with you. You're the sweetest. I only have eyes for you. So there are cards, so you can see, like I said, just how much more effective they are now having been coloured in. Um, you can obviously do it as simple as what I have here. You could obviously go a lot um, further with these with the colouring and things like that. Um, but I'm super happy with how the uh, sort of colouring and stamping has turned out. So now what we're going to do is just assemble our card. So again, I'm going to have a sort of assembly line. So I'm just going to bring in... Um, just off to the side here my mats and layers and then I have got my card bases up here so I'm just going to use my simple tape runner for this um, because for me it just is the easiest uh, way to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our stamped panel I'm going to Add that onto our black mat. So again, making this uh, into something just a little bit more, you could of course add your foam tape to this or foam pads, but I'm just gonna stick this straight down. And now we have our first card all ready to go. So just to remind you, this is using the Hunky Dory Pocket Pun stamp set. This is a collection, so there's two sets of stamps that make up this collection. You've got one which was mainly the animals, um, and then you've got all of the objects was in the other one. So there's 16 stamps in total. I believe you can buy these separately as well. I will try to leave some links in the description box down below. So if you're interested, please check that out. So those are the finished cards for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. You won't miss out on any future videos. The next video that's going to be posted um, is actually going to be my craft room tour. So my new craft room in my new house. Uh, so I'm really excited for you guys to see that. So be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when that video goes live. So thanks very much for watching and happy crafting.